Welcome back to County Connection. For our final segment, we're back with Brian Lorch, Open Space and Trails Director for Summit County. And uh, we're going to be talking about the Lorium Mine site, which is another open space acquisition um, that Summit County recently added to its portfolio. Um, so Brian, uh, give us a quick overview of this particular site. Sure, thank you, Julie. Um, it is located up on Bald Mountain, which is just east of Breckenridge, the, the major um, front side of Baldy is um, very heavily used by skiers and, and various people going up to recreate and the Lorium claims sit at the top of Breck Park Estates and basically are the very visible foreground when you're looking up from town. Um, it's 104 acres um, and so it stretches all the way from where the um, subdivisions end all the way up to there's a there's a large um, set of uh, power lines that go across and so way up above the the timber line um, there's about five different trails that transect it in different ways okay. um, and so we're looking at this as being a, a really neat opportunity um, at the bottom it's a sort of a flat area that we can utilize as sort of a, a park setting um, and then it goes up and the, all these trails a bunch of old mining relics up there um, at least one really neat cabin that's right there where people can can see it easily cool. um, and so again a lot of history as well as um, a lot of recreational value here and then the scenic backdrop for the, the town of Breckenridge. Uh-huh and speaking of the town of Breckenridge so they were a partner in this acquisition um, and uh, and the town and the county have worked together on a number of projects like this is that right? Yes um, they were partner 50-50 partner on this um, they also have an open space program that's funded with um, pro we're, we're funded by property taxes but they're funded by sales taxes but um, we've done a lot of our, most of the acquisitions in recent years with the Summit County have also been joint property purchases with the town of Breckenridge. Um, and that allows both of us to really extend our funding, get a lot more bang for the buck, sure. um, and meet both of our, our goals. Um, um, and so the, um, let's see, when you're, looking at properties and evaluating them as potential um, open space parcels. Um, can you talk about some of the various criteria that, um, that you look at and, and, and the, this particular purchase met a whole lot of criteria and you talked about recreation yeah. but maybe some others? So we have seven criteria that are in our open space master plan and the town has a, a similar set. They're everything from, again, recreation, extensions of public property, um, uh, unique areas, either culturally or natural resources, um, and areas like uh, scenic corridors. Uh, so this one really met a, a number of those. Uh -huh. And so that was what's, what's so neat about it. Okay, great. And then um, how about what does the property have in the way of um, wetlands or wildlife habitat? Yeah, it, it definitely holds um, great value in terms of wetlands and wildlife habitat. The, um, it's within what the uh, Forest Service has identified as the uh, movement corridor for forest carnivores um, and a, a very central to that by the way it, it goes up from the tree line up into the into the tundra and um, that area because it's so much pressure from development in, in, in and around Breckenridge it mm -hmm. really is a key connection um, it also has several drainages that come down off the mountain um, and collect there at the at the bottom of the property okay and then um, what are some popular trails that people might be familiar with that are now um Kind of more protected than they were before the purchase. Yes, so there's a, a trail that has been, it was cross private property, and so the trail head that we're looking at possibly moving forward to create comes off of Breck Park Estates, um, and that was, um, there's a road that goes up from there, and then it connects with several roads that come across from Baldy and go towards uh, the Mountain Pride Mine area. So there's the Mountain Pride mi Mine Trail. Um, that's one that connects all the way over to Boreas Pass Tank. 
in that area. Okay, fantastic. Um, anything else that you'd like to add about this particular acquisition? Um, again, I think we're really fortunate to have the relationship that we have with the town of Breckenridge mm -hmm. to make these kind of things possible. Um, it's um, in order to do them, it takes a lot of work, and um, they do a lot of the assistance in managing these properties as well. So it's it's not just the purchase. I mean, right. the purchase is a is a big part of it, but then we have to decide what do you do with a piece of property when you own it. And, right. Um, they've been very helpful in, in figuring out the recreation management and, and working towards creating a trailhead and, and some of the efforts that we're going to be doing up there in the future. Um, it is an area that a lot of people like to go skiing in the, in the winter, so this will give us the opportunity to create a trailhead, whereas the other two trailheads are very constrained with size-wise, this really has some room that we can work with. All right, fantastic. Well, thanks so much for joining us to talk about uh, these um, recent additions to our open space portfolio. Sure, um, thank some, you for having me. Some great benefits to Summit County citizens and our natural environment and historical resources. So it's exciting stuff. Yeah, thank you. All right, and thanks to those of you at home who've joined us for this edition of County Connection, and we'll look forward to seeing you next month.